What's up, my THG family? I hope you all are well. I'm coming to you tonight or this morning, whenever this comes up, to talk to you about the fuel shortage. I had no plans in doing this, but it is all that I'm seeing, hearing, and reading about. So you know that the pipeline went down because it was hacked. Um, that's one of the cases that I was talking about of not knowing when something will happen and being prepared for anything, even when you don't know what it is. So if you're one of those people that's running out to get your fuel, make sure you store your fuel the proper way. If you don't know how, there are videos out there that will show you, tell you, walk you through the steps. Just be safe when you're doing it. And also, let's just hope and pray that this does not last a extremely long time. They say if it is not back up and running within the next three to four days, um, that it could cause more outages as far as um, stations running out of fuel. North Carolina has already passed um, executive orders due to the fuel shortage potential potential not that it's out but the potential so i need you to be aware um, of where you are if you're in that location if you're in virginia alabama anywhere in the southeast even south carolina where i am we could all be facing fuel shortages and even though this was a cyber hack we have to come to the realization that Things like this can happen and things like this have happened where they have had a cyber attack on the water treatment facilities. There were two different ones that have um, happened this year. So in here, I am putting those articles that you can go back and Google yourself. Um, just prepare y'all. You don't know what you're preparing for. I can't say that enough, that you just don't know. So you have to make a plan. Um, I think it was 2020 that we um, started making our plan and where we would go if we had to go somewhere, what we would do, what we would need. Um, fuel was one of those things. Um, it's not necessarily one of those things that we jumped right on and so we do have fuel but do we have what we probably need probably not because you never know what you need when you need it how you need it so that's the mindset that you have to be in when you're trying to um, start a prepper pantry um, build up your protection for your home and your preps you just have to think of things that could, would, and can happen. So, um, y'all have a blessed night. And remember that I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, you can go out and spread God's love with distance. Number one, get your water. Number two, get all your food that you need for your family number three get your fuel get your generators get all of those things that you would need have a way to put those things know where you're going to store certain things because certain items cannot be stored in your garage or whatever so i'm i'm rambling on have a good night
Yeah.